so today in this lecture we are going to discuss the second degree hot block we are discussing the av blocks atrioventricular hot box and we have previously discussed the first degree hot block in the last lecture today we are going to discuss the second degree hot block when we discussed the first degree hot block we discussed that it can also be called as a prolonged pr interval or a prolonged pq interval and just because the the definition of the first degree hot block is a prolongation of the pr interval or the interval from the start of the p wave to the start start of the q or the r wave that was simple definition of the first degree hot block now there are many causes of the first degree hot block second degree hot block third degree hot blocks or av hot blocks now if we consider the second degree hot blocks we can simply call it dropped beats dropped beats as we can call the prolonged pr or the prolonged pq interval as uh, to the first degree hot block similarly we can call the second degree hot block as drop beats now the second degree hot block has two types and both of the types has dropped beats now the first type of the second degree hot block is known as mobits type 1 or the wenke back phenomenon it may also be known as mobis or mobits whatever how you, you pronounce it that's up to you but in the type 1 there is persistent prolongation continuous prolongation of the pr interval or the pq interval and finally there is a drop beat no there is an there is an absence of the qrs complex now if you see here this P, pr interval is small here this is a bit larger this is more larger and finally a p wave has occurred but there is no following qrs complex that's because of the rhythm starts in the sa node it comes to the av node and then it comes to the bundle branches so sa node AV node and bundle branches. In the AV hot blocks, we have some pathologies in the atrioventricular node, AV node, or the bundle of his, the bundle of his. It this portion. So due to some abnormality, if the, if the impulse is only delayed, then it will cause first degree hot block. And the the PR interval. This p wave has been caused by the sinoatrial node or the sa node the electrical impulse has been generated in the atria in the sa node that is normal but it has been delayed in the av node or the bundle of his which has led to the pr interval so it causes first degree hot block but it is always it is always conducted although a bit delayed but it is always conducted in the type 1 in the mobis type 1 or in the wenke back second degree hot block some of the impulses get conducted quickly some of the impulses get conducted a bit uh, with a bit delay then the delay increases and finally some of the impulses coming from the sa node to the av node or the bundle of his they are not conducted so there is no qrs complex and there is there is basically a longer 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 drop the pr interval increases it's longer 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 drop so it is continuously increasing and finally one of the wave that started from the sa node it could not be conducted into the ventricles and there is a drop of the qrs complex so that's mobits or mobis type 1 or the wenke back phenomenon the second type of the second degree hot block or the mobits type 2 in in the second type we also have a drop beat but the pr interval it is not continuously increasing the pr interval may may or may not be normal most of the time it's normal there is no problem with the pr interval but there is a drop beat 
Why? Because some of the impulses coming from the SA node, they cannot, they cannot be conducted through the AV node or the AV bundle and they cannot reach the ventricle. So the SA node which generated the P wave, it was normal but somehow in some conditions it could not be conducted and drops occur. That is the Mobis type 2. So the second degree heart block is basically drop beats. Here if we see in the first degree heart block the PR interval was prolonged. There was no drop. PR interval was prolonged or the PQ interval was prolonged but there was no drop beat, no drop beat and the QRS complex was present for every P wave. In the second degree heart block we have two types in the Mobis or the Mobits type 1 which is known as the Van Quebec. There is continuous prolongation of the PR interval and finally there is a drop of the QRS complex. And in the second type of the second degree heart block or the Mobits type 2, the PR interval is normal but there is a drop beat because of delay or because of because some of the P waves cannot be conducted through the atrioventricular node or the bundle of His. Now compare this thing with the first degree heart block, you will see that all the impulses, although a bit delayed, but has have been conducted through the AV node or the bundle of His. So that's all about the second degree heart block. In the next lecture, we will be discussing the third degree heart block. To summarize, the atrioventricular or the AV heart blocks basically show a problem in the AV node or the bundle of his. There is a conduction delay. So if it cause a bit delay but every impulse is conducted it will cause first degree heart block and in the first degree heart block the prolonged PR interval or the prolonged PQ interval will occur. occur. But in the second degree heart block we have drop beats. So these drop beats may be of two types. In the Mobitz type 1 or the Van Quebec the PR interval increases continuously and then finally a drop occurs. In the Mobitz type 2, there is no continuous prolongation. The PQ interval or the PR interval is normal and finally there is a drop beat. That's all about second degree heart block. Thanks a lot for watching the video.